What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Cruyff is here. Now, we know we have Forlan and Raul to go through as well, but I want to do a special video on Cruyff. We will be spinning for him in our live stream as well tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will check that out. But let's get into it. We're going to be showing you additional skills and talking you through this card because I think this definitely is going to change the meta quite a bit, especially for top tier players. Let's crack on. Let's get into it. All right, so Cruyff is part of this 150 box Spanish League attackers draw, right? You've got Cruyff, Forlan, Raul. Cruyff is 100 overall here, depending on how you train him up, right? Really, really solid card. So this is him with his booster on, right? A booster, booster. Dribbling at 84, tight position at 84, and this is at level one as well, right? Speed at 81 and balance at 80. He's got the plus two ball carrying dribbling a centric booster uh, which will be activated at all times there's no other conditions for this so if you are a newcomer you will essentially have this guy at level one without training him up with these stats in game right and then you get your manager boost plus two to all stats right now player skills wise right we're going to take a look at this a little bit later on in the video right we want to take a look at what kind of build that we can also do we are going to go over to eFootball db and show you the build that we have for this guy right here right because i do think that he is going to shake up the meta quite a bit i definitely feel like if you are going to be using cruyff you have to use him in a specific formation and i definitely think that he needs to either be a ball carrying dribble player for you or else you need him to be your killer your assassin and there's two different builds for that right so the first build that we're going to go over for here while i actually um take a look at it is going to be for this right so i'm going to hide my webcam here my face cam and just concentrate on this for the time being, right? So this is essentially what you're going to want if you are going to be playing to Cruyff's strengths as either an SS or a center forward figure. Now, sub tactics wise on this, you can essentially interchange with Cruyff, Neymar, Maradona. You can put Maradona through the middle and have Neymar and Cruyff as two CFs. You can have Cruyff and Maradona where they are as two SSs and have a CF, whether that's Neymar for the meta style, you know, three very mobile, versatile uh, strikers that can do it all. Pace, passing, shooting, dribbling, touching, go, dribbling skills, uh, all of that sort of stuff, right? Or else you can put a Targaman in there, you can put your Cantona in there, you can put your Drogba in there, you can put your Haaland in there, Ronaldo in there, it doesn't matter, instead of Neymar, right? But essentially what you want to be doing is you want to be able to shoot with both your SSs in this formation, either Cruyff cutting in from the left uh, or Maradona cutting in from the right. Maradona with that left foot or Messi with that left foot, Cruyff with that right foot or else outside curlers if you switch them on the sub tactic. All right, so the first build that we're going to take a look at is going to be probably the most popular build, I would say, right? You're going to have a hybrid build, which is going to be between a center forward and an SS, okay? So CF and an SS hybrid build within that formation that we just showed you there, right? So this that we're taking a look at here is going to be all about interchanging between Cruyff and Neymar and Maradona and shooting whenever you're in good positions to shoot. Keep your opponent guessing, right? So as I said, this formation that you see here um, is going to suit a hybrid build like this. It's going to be a shooting, run and gun first uh, kind of centric player, right? You're going to have no real passing, but you're going to be hitting really good marks within your booster and also within the shooting and the attacking awareness, right? Now, we're not going to hit everything perfectly, but with this build that you see here, you're going to have offensive awareness up at 88 with the manager boost. You're going to have your ball control, dribbling and tight possession around the 90 mark. You're going to have finishing at 90. You're going to have curl at 92. You're also going to have speed at 85 or 86 if you've got 10 hag. And you're going to have your acceleration and balance over 90 as well. Acceleration is going to be 93. What kind of makes this card meta, in my opinion, is the five into aerial strength. Just trust me, try out this build with aerial strength, right? You're going to have physical contact at 76. With the boost, that's going to be about 78. And with the balance, you're going to have at 90 and the tie possession at 90. That's going to be the perfect hybrid. There's only a couple of cards that hit that level of around 80 physical contact, 90 balance, 90 finishing, and 90 tie possession. Messi and one or two other cards are the only ones that will be able to hit those. And you know how good they are in the game, right? So that's the first build. I think that's probably going to be the more popular build. Um... If you're just getting Cruyff as a run and gun, you know, playing very direct with him. A lot of quick counter, uh, a lot of meta style play with him, okay? The second build that we're looking at is going to be an SS slash AMF hole player. So really playing into his play style, playing into his player skills. And I suppose using his strengths and really pushing them out, right? A little bit more while not trying to make him into something that he's not, right? 
The biggest problem with that other build that we have is that you do have to pop in a lot into shooting and finishing if you want to get that finishing up to 90. And I do think you need 90 finishing. You need all you need all your shooting players, right? If it's an AMF, SS, right winger, left winger, center forward. With the way the game plays at the moment, trust me, you need your finishing to be as high as possible and at least 90, okay? With this build, you're going to be playing him more as either an AMF or else you're going to be using him in the same position as we showed in the formation, but just slightly more creative. And you're going to be using him as a lot of touch and goes, one touch passing, very skill centric for what his skill baseline is. Four into shooting, 11 into passing, seven into dribbling and dexterity, and then nine into lower body. That's going to give you 90 speed, 90 acceleration, uh, 85 stamina, 87 balance. You're also going to have the finishing at around 82, 83. And then the rest of your, your player here is going to be all into the 90s with the dribbling. Now, for me personally, the low pass being at 85 here or 86, depending on you know how you're training him up, I think that's probably something that you'll need to test out yourself in terms of how good of a passer you are. Because passing now at the moment is more about angles and creating the angles yourself manually, which you can do with any stat. Uh, compared to, you know, the low pass being at, you know, 90 plus, okay? So that is the second build that we would have. Now, one of the questions that I always get asked on this that I've started to do, right, are these, uh, which is the player skills. What player skills to actually use with Cruyff, okay? For me, you've got a couple of ones that you can kind of, like, play around with, but I think 100% you will want to give him double touch and soul control, okay? He already has flip-flap by default. First time shot is a necessity if you're playing him anywhere from attacking the fielder up. And to be honest with you, these first three are a necessity. Double touch, soul control, and first time shot. Long range curling gamesmanship. You can kind of swap them out depending on how you play, right? He does have a couple of nice uh, player skills himself, but I would say that this is what I would go with. You've got outside curler already. Long range curl is going to be an addition to that because the curl and finish have been, has been a little bit better and you want him to be able to pass and shoot as much as you possibly can. He has the passing skills by default. These are all about dribbling and shooting skills, which is where you want to play him. So gamesmanship is just for winning more free kicks because you're going to be dribbling a lot with him, right? I think Cruyff, in, in kind of like review of him, I think he's going to suit players that are really comfortable on the ball. If you play a lot of one-touch passing, you can get players to do a better job than that, that are more direct. But I definitely think Cruyff is kind of like that ultimate player that you can literally, you know, just absolutely blitz people with, with pace, skill, dribble, and shooting. You know, it's the perfect hybrid player of being able to carry the ball and use possession while also quickening it up and shoot from distance, shoot from inside the box, touch and goes, little interchanges between the sub tactics. There's a lot to get into with this card. So let me know if you guys do spin for him. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see the same done for Forlan and Raul. And let me know what you, think, what you think, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. If you're not enjoying the content, let me know in the comments below of how to improve the videos. Always open to constructive criticism. Until then, and the next time, we will talk to you in a bit. Peace.